everybody this is sprite sheets extended tutorial where I'm going to show how to build a material with multiple sprite sheets representing an animation this animation has 64 frames and I will divide it in four sprite sheets with 16 frames on each texture I explained it in the previous tutorial how to create the sprite sheet texture so I will jump this step if you didn't see please check out the previous tutorial so let's jump to Unreal I have the textures here just going to show it's four textures as I said and you can see that this is the first one it's beginning this is the middle one and then we have the third and the fourth so right click create material and uh, let's open the material let's delete the texture sample right click flip book and uh, create a new constant in this case will be four the number of rows and columns are the same from texture we're gonna type texture object okay and let's link the first texture on it and last UVs texture coordinate okay now let's separate this group for a while so from the base color we are we are going to create if basically it will tell which order the sprite sheets will be played if you want more information about this node please take a look at the Ryan Shaw's book Master the Art of Unreal Engine 4 very nice content with a lot of tips tasks and tricks about Unreal 4 so returning let's create a multiply now let's create a frac and uh, from the frac create a divide and from divide create time Whoa. all right now create a constant I will type 4 I don't remember if this is the, the velocity of the playback or the sprite sheets order anyway I remember this number work it but we will check later okay so now let's create a new constant and let's put it like one and plug it into B this basically is the, the determines the order of the sprite sheets that will be played now let's connect the flipbook result to the last node from F okay now we did pretty much everything and from now on we are just going to copy some nodes paste it and repeat some operations so let's connect this result to those guys here okay this constant will be the the sequence of the sprite sheets so in this case will be the sequence number two the sprite sheet number two let's copy this group paste it and replace the texture i think i swap it okay i swap it let me fix that just a moment Holy. okay uh, 
Okay, so let's repeat this process until the last sprite sheet. Uh, another thing, every A node from those if nodes, we are going to connect the multiply that we created earlier. So copy, paste, result. Oh, no, I was forgetting. Duplicate this one. That will be three now. Result in the last. Result. Flipbook results on the last node. And the last sprite sheet that will be connected on those last two. Replace the texture. I mistake it again, the order, I'm sorry. And the fourth, okay. All right, so the last, let's connect the multiply at the last A, and that's it. The material, it's working. And the number four was really this number. I will change it just for you to see what can happen. So if I type two, the animation get kind of break on the middle. So I don't know if that number is related on the number of columns or sprite sheets that you are going to use. But if you have problems, try to tweak that guy, that parameter. My material is an additive, apply it, save, and let's see the result. And there we go. Sequenced sprite sheets. Uh, you can make particles and... Uh, anyway, I also did this test material that has five sprite sheets this is an example of a video image sequence transformed in a sprite sheet sequences. And um, each one of those textures has 8K resolution with 60 frames inside it. I know it's a high count, <laughs> but uh, it was just for a test and it worked and the difference between the latest material is that as I had six columns and ten rows I had to create those constants respectively so that's it everybody if you have any doubts suggestions better ways to do it please tell me uh, good day everybody